Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of my Hits and Shit series. Uh, basically, all the products that I have been loving and hating over the past month. Now, with the state of everything at the minute, with the state of how... I mean, I just really, I have not been wearing that much makeup since like February. Does anyone else? I mean, I'm sure many of you are in the same boat, but this month I did actually discover some really, really nice new products um, and I have been really, really, really enjoying them. A um, bit of a mixture here. I've got a body product as well. And then also three hates. I feel like I haven't had that many like sheets or hates or, you know, makeup disappointments, makeup just like stuff that just isn't worth the money. I feel like I haven't had that many of them lately. We've got a few in this video, so that's exciting, kind of. It's not exciting for the products or the brands though. Just, I just don't want you to waste your money. <laughs> but basically that is it. If you are interested in learning about what products I have been loving and hating throughout the month of May, I know this video is a little bit late, I do apologize, um, then please keep on watching. Okay, first up I have a foundation. Now this is a foundation that I feel like I've spoken about in many of other videos, but it's very difficult because I obviously have a very, very large makeup collection. Things get lost, they disappear into drawers and you know, who only knows where else and I kind of like forget about them. But then when I rediscover them, it's kind of like this whole new exciting experience. It's nearly like I'm just testing it out for the first time. I sort of had that kind of a moment with this foundation. Now, the foundation that I'm talking about is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Now, this is different to the Urban Decay Naked Foundation. I'm not 100% sure on if they discontinued the naked and replaced it with the Stay Naked. I'm not quite sure, but what I am sure of is how amazing this foundation is. It is so nice on oily skin. I mean, it would be really, really good on normal skin types as well. Probably wouldn't hugely recommend it for those of you with drier skin types. I do feel like it does dry down quite matte, unless you were to blend it with like an oil or something. But then at the same time, if you were to do that, I couldn't vouch for the longevity because this one for me, I can put it on first thing in the morning and my face still looks perfect later on, like, you know, nine, 10 o'clock at night. It is just absolutely phenomenal. And it's a really, really super lightweight as well, which I really love. You guys know I hate foundations that just feel like they're like choking my face. Like I don't want to feel like I've got layers of product on. I don't want to feel like my skin can't breathe. It's really, really comfortable. The coverage is great. The wear time is great. Just everything about it's great. I, I've fallen back in love with this for a very, very good reason. I'm obsessed. Okay, next up I have some newies from By Terry. I believe these are part of this summer collection. I threw out the packaging, which was a really, really stupid idea. I should have known. These are called the Ombre Black Star. And basically they're like little cream eye crayons. Um, they're so so incredibly soft and velvety and luxurious on the eyelids and they don't crease. Like I've spoken about this to you guys heaps. I do really struggle a lot of the time with cream products. I get oily lids. Everything just creases. It ends up a hot mess. Um, these totally last all day long and they're so quick and easy to apply and so quick and easy to blend out. I've got two shades here. I've got 22 and 20. So 22 is Sunny Flash. It's a really pretty, like, gorgeous bronze color. Look how gorgeous that shade is. It's absolutely beautiful. And the formula's amazing. Like, you've got a couple of minutes to blend it out, and they're so soft and smooth. Like, there's no real texture to them at all. But then they dry down on the skin, and it's like paint. Like, it's totally crease-proof, smudge-proof, wear-proof, sweat-proof, oil-proof. Like, it's absolutely amazing. So that's Sunny Flash. I've been loving this bronze one for, like, natural no-makeup days. You just sort of smudge it all over the lid. You can blend it in with a finger or a brush, and it just it looks like you've spent and heaps of time doing your makeup. It's awesome. And then this other one is Immaculate Light, which is the most amazing champagne highlight color. Like, oh, I just absolutely love these. And I have been really quite surprised at how well they perform. Like normally, you know, crayons, cream eyeshadows, I'm like, oh, you know, it's not, there's not even any point in me really trying it. But these, I was like, oh, okay. Hey you, and for some reason, I don't know if it's like being the weather or what it's been, my eyes have been really quite sensitive. I mean, more so than usual, they're always really sensitive. But um, for me, cream eyeshadows have been a great option because sometimes with eyeshadow, you know, the dust and the application process and stuff, it can irritate them more. So for times when my eyes are not behaving, creams, mm. I love these. Okay, next up is a product that I have actually already featured in probably multiple favorites videos, but I can't not feature it. And you guys consistently ask me what nail polish I'm wearing, like on Instagram, in my Instagram DMs, on my Instagram photos, in the comments here. I've been wearing this nail polish now for pretty much I mean, we're talking years now, and I just cannot deal with how pretty it is. And it's the only nail polish that I've ever like I still get excited about it every single day. Like I've been wearing it for 
ever and I just can't get over how good it is. So I am wearing it on my nails today and it's the most beautiful iridescent. It's like a gold sparkle but then as you move and as you sort of put your hands in sunlight it turns to almost like a nude pink kind of a sparkle. It's seriously the most unique nail polish I have ever come across in my life. It's just beautiful and also I'm just wearing it over my naked nails at the minute um, but you can layer it on top of other colors and I'm talking any color even black nail polish just looks insane over the top of. Um, it looks good over every Thing. But what I'm talking about is this one here and it's called, uh, well, it's from the brand by Cindy Societal. Really, really gorgeous, small boutique Australian brand. Um, and I love, love, love supporting smaller boutique brands. It's just really nice to be able to send some customers their way. And she's just the sweetest person ever. Like I adore her. Um, but the actual shade is having an Ariel moment. I don't know if you can see the color. The camera's like literally not going to do this justice. It is absolutely stunning. Like I said, I wear it on my natural nails, I wear it on my toenails, I wear it over every other color in the rainbow. It always looks good. This is my third bottle of this now. I just, I am bang on, like this is probably my 2019 favorite. It'll be my 2020 favorite. It is just the best nail polish ever. Period. All right, next up I have a body product and actually I should shake it up so you can see how gorgeous it looks. Oh, can you see all the beautiful flowers in there? Look how stunning this is. So this is a body oil from the brand Skinned. Now this is actually, again, another boutique Australian brand. And by the way, both these people and the nail polish brand, they both ship internationally. So don't worry, you'll be able to get them no matter where you are. Um, but Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so freaking obsessed with their body oils. Firstly, obviously, is this not the prettiest thing like you have literally ever seen? Look how glorious this is. I have had this actually sitting on the bedside table and like every night before bed, I'll rub it into like my knees, my elbows, my hands, my arms, just anywhere where I've had dry skin. But I absolutely love the formula of this because it's not heavy. I notoriously have not really been a massive fan of body oils just because, you know, you put them on and then you feel like you can't put clothes on. They're so sticky, they're so heavy. It doesn't feel like really that they absorb into the skin at all. No, 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 no. This is so gorgeous and lightweight. It just melts into the skin. And you guys, it smells oh, so good. I can't even begin to describe it. And it's not like the scent doesn't just, it doesn't just linger there when you initially apply it. It actually lasts throughout the day. And like, I'll be, you know, I'll be doing something random. Let's say I'm like making lunch or something and I'll just get like a random whiff of it. Oh, it smells so good. Now they do have lots of different scents. They've got a whole range with lots of different ingredients and stuff. This particular one here is right at my peony. I do also have another one here, sugar, sugar. I, I mean, they're both delicious, but I think that I prefer the peony one. It has got apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, macadamia oil, vitamin E. I feel like it's also got a bunch of other stuff in it. I believe these are like little peony petals down the bottom here. Um, honestly, if you've got dry skin or if you are a body oil lover, I urge you to try these and tell me that this isn't the best body oil that you have ever used. Like they are just seriously insane. Or if you're fake tanning and you know, your skin gets like quite dry and you're just like, oh, I'm going to shed like a whole layer of skin. I lather myself in these and it's instantly gone, but at the same time without being sticky and I can like fully dress straight away. Um, and it just smells so good. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I can't wait to try some more of their scents. Um, like if I could even... Oh, oh. <laughs> seriously? Mm, it's so good. And then finally for the hits today, I have a lipstick. Now these are a brand new release from Fenty. I feel like I spoke about a new Fenty product just a couple of videos ago, actually. Um, their new highlighter. Oh my God, still obsessed. Actually, let me just quickly show you. This one here, oh, it's called the Diamond Bomb in Cognac Candy. Mm. I just take it on finger and like literally just dab it all over my eyes, on my skin, over my lips, over any lipstick. It's just amazing. Sorry, I'm rambling and getting totally off track, but this one here is a new lipstick now. Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. Whoa, okay, that is quite a mouthful, Fenty. Say that five times in a row. I. I dare you. <laughs> Basically their newest released lipstick, really, really pretty packaging. Like I'm obsessed with the packaging. It just looks so pretty. And the shade that I've got here is Make Out Break. Really beautiful peachy nude. I am actually wearing it right now. Uh, now these lipsticks are not 
super super pigmented and they're also like they're just so lightweight they just feel like a lip balm again this is something that i've spoken to you guys about heaps i do get very dry lips we're heading into winter here in australia my lips are 10 times more dry in winter they just they peel and they crack and they get sore and it's just it's so annoying i have just been really really enjoying this one as a really soft sheer kind of like wash of color nothing too in your face it looks amazing if you've got no makeup on at all if you want to add just like a tiny little bit of a flush to the lips um and the formula is just so comfortable hopefully if i pop it on the back of my hand you can sort of see how sheer it actually is can you guys see that there the formula is so comfortable, very, very hydrating. It just feels like you're wearing a lip balm, super lightweight. Doesn't settle into the cracks or anything on my lips. I don't get that awful, like, gungy line on the inside of my lips that sometimes happens when you wear a lipstick for a long time. I've just been obsessed with it. I've been wearing it almost every day since I did receive them. Um, I did receive, actually, every shade in PR. Ooh! Would you guys be interested in seeing a swatch video of these, actually? I have got the Maybelline lip swatch. It's filmed. Um, it will be going up soon. But let me know if you want to see a swatch of all of the shades that did come in this collection. There's loads of different shades. It's a really pretty collection. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been reaching for this every single day. Um, it just it looks so gorgeous. It adds a little bit of color to my face without being too much. And it's just so comfortable and hydrating. So yeah, I feel like we're moving kind of out of matte lipsticks finally like the trend i don't know let me know what you guys think but i feel like sheer and like sort of juicy glossy kind of lips is back in a big way and then finally to finish off the video we have the shit so these are the products that i just do not recommend um they don't either well they either don't work for my skin or they just don't i don't like the formula i think that they're way overpriced actually speaking of overpriced this first one that i'm going to show you it's so dang expensive and I, I just don't understand why. So this is the Super Seed Serum from Votary. Um, it's got broccoli seed and peptides. It's fragrance free. Um, very plain Jane packaging, very sort of plain Jane serum. Um, this has got major, major positive reviews. And here in Australia, I feel like it's like $160 or $180. Like it is really, really stupidly expensive. I have been using this serum for over a month now and it has not made a difference. I just don't understand the hype. I don't understand why it's so expensive firstly and secondly, why there are positive reviews. It's... Oh, I don't know. It's no different to like a, a plain Jane drugstore serum. It didn't do anything revolutionary. I don't feel like it made my skin plump. I don't feel like it made my skin particularly hydrated. I don't feel like it made my skin look brighter. I just, I did not get anything out of this. So for me, this is um, a product that I will be recommending you not bother wasting $180 on because you're just not going to see. And personally, as an oily skin type, I did not see any results with it. So yeah, that's that's the first one. Secondly, I actually have a Fenty product, funnily enough. Now, this is another new-ish kind of-ish release from them. Um, they came out with another Skin Glow Stick Match Stick in the color Pearl. Um, this was supposed to add a really beautiful soft sheen to the skin. It's kind of like a clear gloss kind of a highlighter. I guess kind of like an oil or a cream highlighter. Um, without any actual color, it's more of like a gloss on the skin and it's supposed to give that really beautiful glossy, you know, like beautiful natural glossy highlight look to the skin. Um, the formula itself is actually quite nice. It's not greasy or heavy or like nasty in any way, but when this is on the skin, you literally can't see it. Like it, I've tried it with makeup. I've tried it without makeup. And every single time I tried it, like you just, I I'll be going like this in the mirror and you just couldn't see any highlight anywhere on my skin. So I don't know. I don't really understand the purpose of this one. I think it sort of missed the mark. Maybe it needs something a little bit more, like a little bit more illumination to it to get it to work. But yeah, for me, I'm not going to be recommending this one because it just doesn't, it's a waste of time. It doesn't, you can't see it on the skin. And then finally, last but not least, I have this little doobie. Now I must admit, I got targeted, I think it was on like Instagram or Facebook, advertising you know how you see those advertising for these products that are so amazing they're going to change your life you're going to be a changed woman you just oh the whole world is going to open up in front of you you're going to get the job you want you're going to get the man that you want just everything is going to be amazing so i bought it no nothing is amazing at all <laughs> this is from a brand called pony o and basically it's meant to be like a revolution is it pony o it's printed on the inside here i'm pretty sure it is yeah pony o oh and it's patented yeah, I don't know why. It doesn't work. Basically, it's like a stiff... It's meant to be like a hair tie. It's meant to give you a really amazing 
full like bushy kind of glamorous looking ponytail like I was expecting it to look like this like just lots of volume like really just basically change the entire ponytail game um I bought the thick one for thick hair I also bought some other versions of this these just do not work at all my hair looks so sad and flat when I wear this like a standard hair tie does a much better job of this and it's so funny like all the advertising and all over their Instagram and stuff like it looks like it works wonders like it looks like it just gives you the most incredibly like voluminous perfect looking ponytail and you're supposed to be able to do it in two seconds and no for starters it doesn't hold my hair tight enough now I do have quite long hair it doesn't hold my hair tight enough and I find that when I wear it gradually during the day like my ponytail just slips down and down and it just ends up down here. Um, but yeah, it just also doesn't give my ponytail any volume at all. I've done it all properly. Basically, you put your hair through it, you clamp it down like this and then you flick the ends down and it sort of sits in your hair like against your head like that with your hair coming out of it. Um, no, it just it doesn't work and I was so disappointed because honestly the advertising and Everything that they say about this looks amazing, but I urge you, please do not waste your money. Um, Pony O does not work. And I've tried it in every which way possible. I've even tried it with clean hair. I've tried it with dirty hair. I've tried it with semi-wet hair. I've tried their bun things and they just fall out as well. I really did think this was going to change my life. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone into it with such high expectations. And that is everything. There you go, guys. Those are all of the products that I have been loving and hating throughout the month of... May? Oh, I'm really struggling. Is this my May hits and shits or is this my June hits and shit? Just don't even know what's happening in life anymore. <laughs> But I hope that you really enjoyed seeing all the products that I have loved and hated. Please, as always, let me know if you've tried any of these. What do you think of them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Um, and let me know if you're going to try any of them out as well. I love you guys heaps. I hope you're all safe and happy and healthy and well and just... <laughs> kicking goals and getting everything that you want and deserve. That is what I want for you guys. That is what I wish for. <laughs> I love you all heaps and I will catch you in my next video.